Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and... This is Pahamar. How are you, Pahamar? I'm good. I'm eating berries. Mmm, berries. I've chosen our next location to check out in the Spatial I.O. area. You have. This is going to be yeah. the theme of episode 31. It is, yes. Uh, Redstone Meltdown is the next one after Enswirl, so I figured, let's go. All right, now let me go dump my cookies off because you killed some more creatures. I did. I'm still not having any luck with cookies, but eh, whatever. I'm ready to load the spatial I.O. if you are. I am ready for you to load the spatial I.O. And Redstone Meltdown has been loaded. Oh, and there's bad guys right at the front of the door. That's awesome. Ah, and there's stuff there, too. I thought it would have, like, a book or something, but nope. Yeah, so far this isn't so bad. So far. There we go. Uh, so in this chest is a pretty nice looking pickaxe with some factory blocks and a resonant satchel. And inside said resonant satchel is nothing. So I basically decided to keep it, and it's mine now. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of spawners down underneath. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and there's like a bunch of liquid metals, and I guess there's like coal and other stuff. Yeah, be aware. There is probably some bad stuff happening. That's okay. We're okay. fairly well geared. This is true. Fairly. Oh, there's uh, liquefacted coal inside here. And you know what I want to do is get some buckets. Because I wouldn't be terribly surprised if potentially there's some stuff hidden in this stuff. Like the liquid here and whatnot. Oh, okay. Okay, that's almost all the spawners on the top level. So I'm going to get a bucket. I'm going to grab a couple tanks. We've got some resonant portable tanks here. Would an ender pump help? Eh. I say eh. Because... You don't have anything good to say? Uh, that, and mostly because I want to say... It looks like there's only, like, one source block there that's, like, flowing around. But what about the liquefacted coal? Could I have your wings? Maybe. I'm going to scoop out one of these and just see how it works out for me in the end. There are the wings. Thank you. All right, I can't fly anymore. <laughs> I'm jumping around like, why aren't I flying? Seconds after handing you the wings. Oh boy, uh, Pahamar, this will not end well for me. What did you do? I discovered a fact. That there's an easy way to get down there? Yeah. And well, of course, because everything that affects you hits me. Are you okay? Uh, I'm semi-okay, but I am definitely missing wings at the moment. I'm trying to draw their aggro. Well, no, like, I'm down, like, I got teleported away by one of those telecreeper things. And where are you now? Underneath the loaded spatial I.O. area. Did, did one of these guys just steal my awesome pick? I cannot confirm nor deny. My awesome pick. I, I think this proves that I need to maintain the wings at all times. Hey, I'm down here trying to deal with the spawners, and you are just like in, in like nowhere land. I am literally in nowhere land. That is exactly where I am at the moment. Besides, you've had a monopoly on the wings since like ever. Well. Yes, 
this is probably true. Hey, you have a gravestone down here, sweet. I'm gonna see if I can uh, derp tower up to you. And maybe even eat some food. So I do have my staff of traveling, so I could always resort to that. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I forgot I had that even. Hooray, staff of traveling. Oh, I got a Soren chest. That may have been from a quest reward. There's no, uh, there's no drive in it, so I can't really read it. Eep. Well, I survived that, so that's cool. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, do you need, like, assistance in some way? Uh, right now, I'm just kind of floating around to where spawner, like, where mobs are not and killing the spawners near there. Right. I'm going to try... I don't see, like, an actual way to get down there, really. Is there a way that I can get down there without plate? Uh, you can fall or dig through the floor, but I wouldn't recommend it. Right. See, now I I'm gonna go to force it down. I'm gonna go, uh, through the floor, I think. This place would be really bad without wings. Oh. You're telling me. I am well aware. <laughs> Dealing with some spawners from below. Okay. I'd like to uh, find a way to get down there and assist you. Right now, this is actually um, a place you wouldn't be able to get to without wings. Oh, where? Like, below, below. Okay. I happened to have been, like, flying back up, and I saw the telltale signs of spawners, the particles. Right. So I'm just flying around and killing all the ones that I can see. And there's a lot of them. I see. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm working on a way to get down there. Most, uh, there, a good chunk of spawners got taken out, so that's good for us. Oh, I see a skystone chest. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, actually. I'm going to do my best. Affected. What's that? I can always tell when you get detonated by a uh, creeper. Yeah. Oh boy, that's not good. I just got teleported down. I have kind of a way to get down there now. So I'm going to run around and try and take out some of those spawners. Um... We're doing all right. I think I got all the ones that I could see down here. And there's a chest here. Nice. Reward bag good, greater, and basic and a cookie. I'm taking them out on this level down here. Staff of traveling, huge help. Especially because they keep teleporting me underneath the monument. Monument? This isn't Feed the Beast. You know what I mean. Like the thing. All right, I'm taking out more spawners. Wow, there's a lot. Yeah, the number of spawners just borders on like the ridiculous. Woot, I survive. Can we come back in a minute? Sure, we can come back in a sec. All right, I see you got some stairs. I do. Do you like my stairs? They're passable. I mean, they function, right? 
All right, I'm gonna continue trying to snipe spawners. Okay. I think once we eliminate all spawners, we should focus next on lighting up the area. Yep, I agree. Alright, I think there's five spawners left. Cool. I'm uh, starting the torch placement. Okay, I'm a little hurt. Actually, I'm not as bad hurt as I thought I was. It's the creepers that are the worst. Just the teleport. The ones that teleport you? Spawner's gone. Nice. Something set fire Clear. to the liquefactic coal. That's probably a bad thing. <laughs> Look at it, it's all burning up, that's cool. I got teleported somewhere. Which is all well and good, because I had to drop off my loots and get more torches. Don't you have your wireless receiver? I do, but since I got teleported somewhere anyway. Figured might as well make the trip home. Um, I sold my buckets, but I'm putting away my uh, stuff that I had. Let's see, anything else I need to put away here? No, that's cool. And then I need torches. All right, we're all lit up. Nice. Let's check out some of these skystone chests and see if there's anything good in them. I should caution that the upstairs area is also not lit at all. Yeah, so it's going to start spawning creatures because down here it's all lit up. Probably. All right, I'm just moving around, picking up all the items on the ground. The ground. Cool. There's a bunch of uh, ME stuff in this chest. Nothing terribly exciting, but... Experience obelisk, experience rod, fluid tanks, pressurized fluid conduits, tanks, drums. So this one appears to be all about liquid. Cool. I'm just taking a peek behind these uh, waterfalls and stuff. Anything good in there? Uh, it's all the liquid stuff? Yeah, I'm using my wireless terminal to put everything in the AE system. Oh, Pymar, check this out. What's up? Well, that didn't work as well as planned. There's something back there that we want? Yeah. Can I have my wings? Your wings? Yeah, my wings. I want to show you on camera so you can see. Because I, I figured whoever built this place would probably do something sneaky like this. Like make a mess on the floor? Mess on the floor? Yeah, exactly. That's what happened. And it was it was not my fault. It was Bahamar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's thinking about blowing. <laughs> was there anything good in this chest or no? Um, books. Hey, my pick. Oh. Yay! Yay! Oh, you found your pick? Oh, here's a Skystone block chest. It's got nine cookies in it. Ooh. And an epic and legendary bag, though. Ooh.
Oh, anything else in energy here? cells and power monitors and Ender energy conduits. Cool. So check it out over here. Look at this sneakiness. Of course. Right? Whoa. Ooh, are those octuple compressed? Those are octuple compressed cookies. Put them in the A system right now. Hold on. They're not in the system yet. Of course they're not, because I'm going to claim the octuple compressed cookie reward. Hooray! Wait, it won't do it. It's a crafting one. Oh, it's a crafting one. Okay. Let's go up to the observatory, and what you can do is convert it into a septuple, and then convert yeah, it back we'll to a octuple. Yeah, we'll do that in there. Yeah. Not sure if it'll work in a AE terminal or if it'll work in a vanilla crafting table, but... They did it. Nice. Two legendary reward bags from that. Awesome. Wow, I got a ME... 16,384k storage. Okay. And the exterminator's handle, uh, hammer. Neat. I'm going to put away my basic bag because that probably has nothing good in it. Uh, I've got an epic and three legendaries to open up right now. I got a bedrockium drum of blood. I got five chandeliers, which is somehow a legendary reward. I got Pokefenium and Adamantite blocks. And an MA 16,384k storage. Do we not have we a have... octuple compressed cobblestone yet? Uh, we may not. Okay, that stinks because that's all we need now for the Torturino. Oh, yeah? Well, I mean, we we should have a lot. Well, actually, no, we should have octuple compressed. Yeah, there's octuple compressed gobble in there. There's a septuple. There's 14 octuples. Oh, so there is. Nice. All right, what other quests do we have to do then? Epic I and can't take the Torturino and... out. Nice. <laughs> Another broken one. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to give myself one, and then I'm going to take away the items. And it's on camera, so everyone knows I'm not cheating. Bobmar's cheating. All right, I have a Torturino. Octuple compressed cookie in the trash. Octuple compressed cobblestone in the trash. Ludicrite block in the trash. I got a manual and battle axe. That's cool. And I bet you that I'm going to need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to fix that quest because I wasn't able to craft it. And a hardened cache. And, uh, well, hmm, maybe you should... You might have to fix the quest. Maybe not. No, I do. Make I'm sure the Torturino's in your, uh, in your inventory when you open up the quest book. It was. It didn't work. So I've completed the quest. I think that means that we just completed 100% of Big to Win, by the way. We have. Hooray! And Lost in Time now has the Torches of Time. I can claim reward, and I just got myself another Torturino. And an epic bag that has phosphate in a drum. I have a bag. liquid XP bedrockium drum. Well, that's cool. Didn't we already get one of those or no? I'm not sure, but now we got it. We have so many things now. All the things. I, I really want to try this Torturino at this point. Like, I don't know exactly how it works, but I'm going to put it right, like, around here somewhere. Sweet. 
I think what it does is increase machine ticks in an area. But also, it definitely looks like my farm is running faster than it was before. So if I were to put down more Torturinos? It would probably increase the speed, yes. Right-click the Torturino until it says radius 4x4 or something like that. I've set it to 9x9x3. Nine by nine by okay, cool. It's not harvesting at all anymore. I think we've got it ticking too fast. No, it's going. It just it does a line at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually much faster than it was before, but eh. I don't know what else we need Torchinos for at this point, but we've got them if we need them. <laughs> all right, let's see. What do we got by way of the next quest to do? Cookies. All right. No. 50? That quest is just not being done. Octuple compressed cobblestone, 50. Black glass. Oh, okay. One million black stained glass. One million sugar canes. 10,000 ender pearls. And 100,000 block of charcoal. Did so. you see the cookies one? Yeah, I saw the cookies one. Alright, uh, I'm actually interested to see if Torturino affects these things here, just out of curiosity. But we know that those don't work. Yeah, if we update the mod, they would work. Well, it sounds like those these last quests are all about automation. Oh wow, that actually does work. Okay, you have to shift-click to change the speed increase. Look at how fast they're growing. <laughs> All right, I want to try this over on my wheat farm now. Wow, you can make it a four times increase. I know. All right, so the wheat farm is definitely faster now. interesting nine by nine by three not bad do you have uh some torturinos i have two can you put them in the a system for me done thank you sir Nice. Well, I got some nice. What I'm actually thinking armor. is maybe even like if I shrink the size of the farm, it might even be beneficial. I don't know. We'll see. Might be beneficial for me to shrink the size of this farm rather than. I mean, what I should properly be doing is testing. But I think this might be good. I don't know. We'll see. I might have actually overwhelmed my uh, my farm. I think I'm actually using coconut cocoa beans faster than I'm producing them, which is kind of a good thing. So I guess you can put a... Uh... Torturino over here then. Well, I could. What I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe we should look into maybe updating some things. Um, so, for example, if I were to snag one of these Torturinos, I want to test this part of this. If I put a Torturino over here near my 
quadruple compressed cobblestone function there. I think that makes the cobblestone production that much faster. It actually does seem quite a bit faster. All right, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, all right, Pahamari, you want to come back here in a minute? Sounds good. I'm just upgrading this ridiculous hammer I got, so. Okay. All right, Pahamari. Uh, so now that we've got that awesomeness going on, was there anything else we want to check out in this area? Or I'm pretty sure we're not going to get anything in this area that's any better than what we just got. Um, yeah, I, I doubt it. I mean, there could be some more chests and whatnot hidden in here, but I feel like we got a pretty ridiculous reward in getting, like, a hidden four octuple compressed cookies. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of octuple compressed cookies, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just taking a quick peek. I don't think... There's, like, an area that's underneath, but really just below this is all... Um, oh, there were, there were stairs that lead down there. I just found stairs that lead down there, Pahamar. Nice. Yeah. But no, I think that's everything that's in here. There's really nothing else to be had. As far as I can see. Uh, Anything further below is just the, the spatial I.O. area that you load into. So I think this is actually the entire area. Which is cool with me. Though maybe there's something behind some of these... Yeah, there's more coal here, but eh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm pretty happy with the loots we've got so far. Uh, so I think what we should do, Palmar, is wrap up the episode here and then maybe come back next episode to A, see how our Torturinos have assisted in our production of wheat and such. Um, clearly, it's definitely increasing the speed at which our farms run and everything. So that's kind of a nice thing. Indeed. I'm rather pleased. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to move this torch for me now and put him and I'll do a little bit more, you know, intelligent design around where we want this torch Reno to be placed, but yeah, cause it sounds like we're definitely going to want some more farms. Maybe, maybe, um, and maybe we can update this, uh, farming mod at some point, the, um, the one that does the, the ward bag seeds and whatnot. I'm told if we flux update crystals. that mod, yeah, flux crystals. I believe if we update that mod, we'll be able to do everything we're supposed to do properly, and then maybe we can use flux crystals for a lot of the uh, farming of the crazy, ridiculous things. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not even sure I want to do those rewards. Like, I think maybe we look at how ridiculous it would be to get those rewards, but like, I'm not going to... Hey, we got four more uh, spatial I.O. areas to go to. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, the, the spatial IOs is cool. Uh, I also have to do UUX. I haven't done that yet. I'll do that off camera. Um, but yeah, we'll consider this, like, ridiculous number of items quest. But for now, I think it's time to uh, wrap up the episode, Mr. Pahamar. Sounds good. Oh, I know what I can do. I can make myself wings. Yay! Oh, yeah, you can. If you want. The chest is here, so if you'd like to make wings, go ahead. I think it's four stepped up compressed. Okay, force of Temple. Oh, yeah, I could do this. Cool. All right, guys, so for now, Daryl, Tony, and Pahamar are signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time, check out some more community areas, and maybe uh, consider some of the other crazy things we can do. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.